The 2020 census is officially over. The U.S. Census Bureau says 99.9% .9 of all households across the country were accounted for, but that doesn't mean every person responded or spoke to a census taker. 12 News reporter Kim Kalunian took a closer look at the numbers and explains what impacts the count could have on federal funding and political representation. Well, only about two thirds of Rhode Island households proactively responded to the census. The rest got a knock on their door. But during a pandemic, it's unclear how many were actually willing to answer. The U.S. Census Bureau says 99.9% .9 of the country's households have now been counted, but that doesn't quite paint the full picture. According to the data, 69.3% of households in Massachusetts self-responded, meaning they answered the census via the mail or online. The same was true of 65.5% of households in Rhode Island. Therefore, 34.4% of households had to have somebody from the census knock on the door. What the census doesn't tell us is of the 34% of households, how many people answered and gave an answer. And so uh, that could be 0% of those houses that they knocked on, or it could be 100%. John Marion is a member of Rhode Island's Complete Count Committee. He says if door knocking, like what's shown here in video provided by the U.S. Census Bureau, does not yield results, census workers will check with a neighbor or consult administrative records. In normal times, we would have expected you know, uh, that they got a pretty good response, but because of the pandemic and people's unwillingness to, um, you know, talk to a stranger who might be knocking on your door, you know, I suspect that even though they were able to knock on all the doors, they didn't have the success they normally would. Uh, in, in a normal year. It's been a turbulent year for the census. It was supposed to end in July, was extended due to the pandemic, and halted on October 15th by a Supreme Court ruling. An undercount could impact a lot, from the number of congressional seats a state gets to how much federal funding it receives. Every person who doesn't get counted um, one way or the other costs the state political representation. It costs the state um, thousands of dollars per year uh, and those numbers are locked in for 10 years. So it could cost the state tens or hundreds of millions of dollars over the next decade. And right now, the Census Bureau is crunching numbers to deliver state and territory population counts by December 31st. In the meantime, the U.S. Supreme Court is set to hear a case next month on whether the Trump administration can legally exclude undocumented immigrants from the census count. Lower courts have said it is unconstitutional. In the studio, I'm Kim Kalunian, 12 News.